This is essentially everything we wanted. They cooked with this one, okay? I admit, they cooked. I... What? Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Star shot 10 charges, by the way. <laughs> Increase all damage by 45%. Please tell me this is a typo and it's 4.5%. What are the possibilities? Are you understanding or is it just me? Are you seeing these values? What I said in the previous video that DLC 2 was the most powerful time for us might be wrong with what we are seeing right now because this is something crazy i love it be sure to post your best creation online so we can see it we will trust oh my god chat are you see you're not seeing this we have reload speed now 10 percent okay so they might have added 10 percent status damage as well you have empty slots and you want to uh, have a prism that enhances uh, range damage DPS, right? You go with uh, range critical chance, you go with uh, range critical damage, you go with fire rate, with reload speed, and that will give you a nice prism that will complement your, your build, because this is what is essentially happening here. They are giving us almost free stats right now. Okay, so they, they put fire rate, health bonus, reload speed, stamina, and they got this enhancement. So it's basically welcome to Las Vegas, right? This is what is happening. Welcome to Las Vegas, fellas. Maybe you have five relic fragments that you don't care about, okay? You don't care about. You throw one broken relic fragment that you maybe care about, and then you're gonna have a chance to get something very good, or you're gonna just lose some relic fragments that you 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 were not in interested anyway, right? So this is essentially what you could do uh, with this. So they got a range critical chance, weak spot damage, and mod damage. So all these are S tier uh, uh, choices, okay? Which is a nice thing. We have Hulk plus 10, Gunfighter plus 10, and Munitions plus 10. Just appreciate what is happening here. We have values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11 rings. There is a ring that gives you 5% damage reduction. There is a ring that gives you, I believe, 10% reload speed. 10% critical chance. Those are the three that we would have normally in the current patch. And then it goes crazy. Because not only you have the prisms now, you can also use the, the, the rings to further increase your, your, your damage on a specific stat or make your character overall a mix and match of good stats that will enhance your gameplay overall. 10% armor bonus, chat. That is a big freaking amount if you're playing a tank. And if you're not playing a tank, that means you're just a little bit tanky air on a DPS build, right? Evade distance. Plus 10, plus 15% stamina bonus. How many times have you died because you don't have stamina and you want to roll because you didn't slide, okay, to save stamina and now you rolled once more because you panicked and now you don't have stamina. Well, now you will have it, all right? Fire rate plus 10%, another ring, dude, 30% ammo reserves. We basically get the trade from the Gunslinger for free. And if you... Even play Gunslinger on top of it, then I don't know what can happen, man. Do you understand what is happening here or is it just me? All these stats that we saw, these are stats that you would get from a single ring, right? So it, it, it is like this, this boy right here. Okay, let's forget those three because we already have three, right? El Golbo, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome. But let's forget about the fragments because we already have those, okay? But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rings, eight rings, eight values, eight values that are in the same level with ring values. But what the hell, dude? Oh, my Lord. That's going to be crazy. So that's why they are talking about adding an, a, another difficulty. Because this thing, chat, this is insane. This is out of this world. Do you understand what I said in the previous video that DLC 2 was the most powerful time for
for us might be wrong with what we are seeing right now because this is something crazy i love it i am in love with this there is a problem here and the problem is for content creators welcome to the family son. <clears throat> violator welcome to the most chaotic family of them all brother boy Shit. okay chat there is a problem with the content creation on this why because if I want to showcase certain things, I will have to cleanse, cleanse my prism over and over. And that means that I will leave my bones on this chair. I can hold one here, which is super good for skill builds, and I can select it. I can hold one here for tank builds. I can hold one here for uh, dot builds. I can hold one here for range DPS. Is This is how it's going. Total seven. Okay, so I will be able to hold seven prisms, right? So... Essentially, we will create seven prisms, okay? And then later, slowly, we will start to cleanse some prisms to maybe bring better prisms to our builds because now we are overflowing from fragments and we are rich in fragments, let's say. Now we can look for more, uh, let's say, variations because it's not worth it for you to cleanse your first prism. Create one, finish it, then go for another one, go for another one until you reach seven. And then after your economy on the fragments is good, then you start cleansing the ones that are least used from your playstyle, right? And the ones that are very close to your playstyle, you're going to replace them last when you have all maxed fragments. And if you throw five plus ten fragments on the stats that you want to get, for a range damage build, let's say, right? You throw in critical chance, weak spot damage, critical damage, uh, fire rate, reload speed. You're going to get a sick combination with those stats for a new prism. But they have to be all plus 10, so you get a very good amount, let's say, of value of your investment. All right, so boss rush will be the main farm, the main grind for this system, I assume. You can also play the normal way, of course and grind some from the chests, I assume it's safe to say that build crafting potential is going to skyrocket. That is indeed true. Okay, by the way, if you are not a member in the Discord, please join. If you're not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing. You're basically taking advantage of us, okay? Please, please don't, okay? Subscribe. The team put a lot of passion and love into the system to give players even more tools to personalize uh, their build to absolute perfection. That is crazy. By the way, I think that is the maybe the craziest change that I have seen so far. Boss Rush, loving it, right? Even though we can unofficially create the mode with save files and we will do it on our next live stream, right? So make sure to stay tuned for the next live stream. We're going to do an old school Boss Rush, last days of old school Boss Rush until we get the new one. We are on a mission now, all right? We must enable god mode again but that is not going to be god mode that is going to be thanos mode dude is the is your mind is is it even crossing of what can what are the possibilities are you understanding or is it just me am i alone on this are you seeing these values bro chat these values these values are insane okay we essentially we can essentially enhance our builds with eight rings extra values of eight rings extra no but that's crazy no and we can't wait to see what sort of prisms you create i can't wait to get mad for not getting what i want okay this is what i can wait i cannot wait for that i'm pretty sure this will happen be sure to post your best creation online so we can see it we will trust i cannot the dopamine has reached the highest amount i will have a heart attack dude that's right at level 50 gaining enough exp to level up one additional time will grant you a legendary bonus choice what okay bodyguard plus one legendary bonus cannot be one shot while at max health cap capacity excuse me what this is what we are going to be in this patch and this is what we are going to be in this update, holy smokes, I didn't even choose the second one. Lifesteal applies 30% of stolen health to allies. So you're a DPS and you're a support at the same time, right? Beautiful, okay. <laughs> 
increase all damage by 45%. Please tell me this is a typo and it's 4.5%. Just tell me that this is a typo and it's not a 45% and it's a 4.5. No, 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 no. I can't believe that. I, I will not believe that. I will not believe that if I will not see it with my own eyes. I can't believe this. No, I can't. You cannot convince me. You cannot convince me that on top of everything else, <laughs> on top of everything else, I get a 45% damage increase. Are you shitting me right now? There is no way this is happening, chat. No, but my heart will explode. Hardcore Invoker, rest in peace. All I'm saying. There is no way they're gonna leave the game difficulty as it is right now with what we are having right now. At least not for the late game of Remnant 2. If we are fighting enemies that are level 21 or 31 if they increased the level cap they might have increased the level cap for the enemies as well right not only for the fragments 45 is crazy you know why it's crazy it doesn't matter what you play it's all damage i can't i can't i i just can't believe that hear this out legendary bonuses are absolute game changers no shit 45% all damage, cannot die from full HP with one shot. That can push your build into the stratosphere. I think it will push it into outside of Milky Way. But anyway, or beyond, exactly. And if anyone is wondering, there are over 40 of those crazy effects. Things like increase relic charge by 100%, support players, hello, increase concoction limit by 5 Alchemist mains, hello. Increase dodge weight threshold by a hundred. Little mark medium dodge? What? Have all cheat death mechanics timers. I don't even know what that means, but I love it, you know? Half the cheat death mechanic timers. Little light dodge. We're gonna see that. We're gonna see that. Cheat death would be a black cat ring. Ah, boss cape. Gray health cannot be removed. Chat. Are they gonna are they going to rework the gray health rings? Because gray health used to be very shit. But if you have that, you can permanently get the bonuses from the rings that benefit from uh, gray health. Interesting. Every evade triggers perfect dodge. When you perfect dodge, you get a certain benefit. Let me name at least 3. So, when you perfect dodge, you get 10% critical chance and damage. Akari's Warband, okay? So every time you dodge, you can now trigger Akari Warband. There is another one that every time you perfect dodge, there is an explosion happening. There is another one, I believe it's a melee mutator, that every time you perfect dodge, you get a 100% hunter, a hundred critical chance. I... What? Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> All right, now, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I just want that. Can I have that? I just give me that, you know? Just, I just want that. Nothing else. I'm good. So that means Corrupted Meridian now has four rockets. And by using failsafe, you increase the chances of the mutator proking. Oh my God, I can't chat. Holy shit. Starshot 10 charges, by the way. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't chat. I can't. Starshot with 10 charges. Now that's gonna be a big bonk, alright? That is going to be a big bonk, alright? I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't even know what they have done. I already broke the game in my head, okay? In my head, I have done so many crazy builds right now. Your brain is not even imagining what I have in my head right now. What? There is no way this is real, right? This is April Fool's or something. Look at this shit. Jack of all trades, increase all damage by 45, dude, chat, I can't. But no, this is crazy, dude. Oh my god, that's it. You wanted more damage, chat? Now shove it up your throat, okay? This is essentially, this is essentially everything we wanted, okay? This is essentially everything we wanted. They cooked with this one, okay? I admit, they cooked. They, they cooked with this one. So after all that, our example prism is finally complete. And this is how it looks. Not bad. Not bad. My boy has, my boy has values of 10 rings right now. 10 rings. Is that even 10? 
So 45% all damage, okay? Let's go with that. Burden of the Destroyer, okay? Admiral's Ring, that is a 30%. And we need, we need 15 more, all damage. 15 more of all damage. Let's pick up an amulet, Ankh of Power. So essentially, Jack of All Trades gives us the value of one amulet and two rings just by having this. We are not even we are not even thinking about the prism, the rest of the prism, and on top of that we have the fragments, and on top of that we have the amulet and the rings. <laughs> 20k DPS incoming. I bet. I I can bet you that. This must be a joke, right? This is April Fools. It's September, dude. There is no way in the world I get an increase to all damage by 45%. I can potentially have 10% elemental damage, 10% skill damage, 10% mod duration, 10% skill duration, 10% uh, mod cost, minus 10% mod cost, minus 10% skill cooldown. You cannot tell me that I can have all those together and then another 10% mod damage, elemental damage and skill damage. And on top of that, I can add cost of the betrayal, right? And Burden of the Gambler, Burden of the Destroyer. I don't know, chat. I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my lord. Are range builds back now with the Prism system? Silva, I'm pretty sure they are. I'm pretty damn sure they are. Because what we were lacking before was like 10, 20% increase, maybe 30% increase on some stats. Now we have double that or maybe even triple, maybe even triple if we can get 45% increase to all damage. And I know that you will not always get this. This is actually what they are showing us here is the jackpot, okay? And I assume the reason why they got the jack of all trades is because they used completely different fragments. If you use multiple different, completely different stat values, you're gonna get the jack of all trades. But what if you use everything that has to do with range damage? Only range damage. What is going to be the legendary? I am so hyped to figure out, chat. You get the passive of the burden of the divine, but not from the healing, from the lifesteal. Without a downside, this is insane, you know? If they don't bring us another difficulty, the game on Apocalypse will become as if you are playing on Nightmare. First, first thing is that. That is a good thing for the new players, but also a bad thing for veteran players who want some challenge, okay? With that being said, I don't know if they are going to increase the default difficulty of uh, Apocalypse anyway. Maybe max level Apocalypse Now is more difficult than what we have on the live server right now. Like on the, on, the, on, the, on the live game right now, on the current state of the game. We talked about making a super difficulty, one that it's three, four, ha three, four times harder than Apocalypse. Okay, I love that idea. I love that idea, Tragic. What did I say in the previous live stream? I did say, I hope that the team did not give focus to the archetype that much as with everything else that comes with the DLC. What we are seeing right now, we are seeing a, a, a very complex, a very complex uh, system that is implemented now, is going to be implemented into the game. Yeah, many of you, many of you said in the Discord, in the chat here and everywhere and everywhere else, this some, somehow comes very close to my opinion about the, the Warden. I, I, I believe that it's a simple archetype, yet it can be effective, okay? It could be a very effective archetype. But in my opinion, it's a simple design, which might be what we need, but this is f***ing complex. This is complex, and this is the, the, the potential of what we are seeing right now is over the top. They cooked here, okay? I wish, I wish I could knew the values of the new rings, the new amulets, and the new traits. There is a legendary bonus, right? It's not written here, but they say that you will be able to use 40 additional trait points. So you can have Fortify, Vigor, uh, Expertise, uh, uh, Amplitude, 
uh, Siphoner, Leech, uh, Barkskin. You can have everything almost on the traits tree. You can have Chakra on top of that. You can have, oh my lord, we are outside of Earth right now. This is where we are. Oh my god, chat. I'm getting hot. I can't. My dopamine is in a in a in a in a very dangerous state right now. My head goes like crazy, okay? Let's make some scenarios. Okay, let me let me share with you. Let me share with you some scenarios that I have in my head. An opportunity states that every time you perfect dodge an attack, your next attack is a hundred percent critical chance, okay? So let's say you are using Spectral Blades, neutral dodge, it will count as a perfect dodge, and then you smack the area around you. I know the area of effect is nerfed, but nonetheless, right? You neutral dodge and you smack them with all these new stats, all these new stats, you smack them in the face. Because every dodge now, it's a perfect dodge, so every time you neutral dodge, because this is how you activate the Spectral Blade, right? That is insane. Okay, let's go to the next one. Six concoctions active without using Alchemist, which was the only thing that would hold back tank players. You are looking very spicy on the next patch. Even if it's not for the tank players, okay? You are not a tank player, okay? You are playing DPS. What what do you play? You do, do you play mod skill based build? Do you play range DPS build? Man, I'm so hyped that range DPS is back. You you guys don't understand how hyped I am. I really want to see if they're going to release a patch uh, nerfing archetypes with all these changes. If the archetypes say the sa stay the same with what we have right now, <sighs> It's going to be a sick time for us. But hold on a second. This could be amazing with Deceit. Chat, this can make Deceit come back to the meta. Ooh. Chat, you feeling me? They are going to definitely nerf Monolith. Monolith and Nebula, forget about it. The only way you can make Nebula and Monolith feel like the same way it feels right now is, is going to be through this. Through the prisms, you will be able to obtain the old power of Nebula and Monolith. Because forget about them. There is no way they are gonna, going to leave them as they are. Okay? Broken or will players just be strong? Uh, we don't know yet, Tragic. Because we haven't played the state of the game that you know. We, we, we are playing right now in a state that eh, oh, everything we are reading right now is crazy. For me, my, my mind is blown from what I'm seeing right now. My mind is blown. If we are talking about a same level difficulty of the game that we have right now, yeah, then this seems a little bit too powerful, right? Maybe not in the start until we create everything, but later on, after we have acquired everything, stays as it is right now, and we don't get another difficulty, then things are going to go more on the easier side. And yes, some builds will overshine others, like in every DLC and like in every patch. And my mission personally is always to look for those builds and showcase it for the for the for the average gamer to have a better experience in difficult worlds, okay, and in difficult uh, boss fights and levels, there is no bigger satisfaction from a person who comes into my chat and says, you know, Chaos, I used your build and I finally beat Apocalypse. Man, my heart, you, you don't even understand how good I feel when I hear that because my mission is exactly what this guy just thanked me about. I don't care. I don't care about showing like broken stuff for people to get clickbaited right into my videos because clickbait means i'm showing a cow on my thumbnail and you're going into a video and you're watching a dog that is a clickbait what i'm showing in my videos is literally things that would make the game more fun to play for the average gamer right who wants to who, who doesn't know or who doesn't have the time because not everyone has the time to game all day and learn every single item. So my mission 
is to combine those items to create builds for people to enjoy. And what I'm showing on my videos is actually a two-part mission, let's say. First thing is that if something is fun, I want to show it to the people. If something can make the game easier for the average player, I want to showcase that. And this is why I think people watch me as well, because they can, they can sometimes figure out combinations of builds that go crazy and they they will say like you know what let me use that take the shield house and go nuts with it you know allow your friend to play the game die multiple times because of my, of that build if you come into my chat and you'll say you know what chaos i used that build and i had a blast with my friends that's all i need in the meantime while i'm doing that right of course devs can see what is working or or what is not working properly in a game right let's say let's say for example the nebula on day one we we figured out that the corrupted nebula can stack up to a hundred thousand damage tick damage right like from from the from the corrosion right you could poison the enemy for a hundred thousand right and not only that you could activate the mod multiple times if you had feedback how fun, how fun until they fix it. It was so fun for the people to use that. I was using that and we would have a blast. That was my mission. And in the meantime, the devs can see that, you know what? Okay, something goes crazy. Let's maybe fix that. They, they did have their fun and that's okay. And let me give you another example, right? Destiny 2. There was a time in Destiny 2, which is a, a game from a colossal AAA company. They did the stupid mistake as a company to have a problem in their coding. When the crafting got introduced into the game, you could amplify the single white bullet weapons. You could amplify their damage to do such huge amounts of damage. Basically, one person could kill a raid boss alone. It was insane. You know what happened, chat? 50% of the missing players, of the community's missing players, 50% of the people came back. So they played the game only because there was something fun in the game. Someone figured out something broken that is not working properly but it was actually making the game more fun so there were a hundred thousand people let's say that stopped playing uh destiny 2 in that particular timeline because destiny 2 also has some dead periods so essentially someone figured out that you know what you can take some weapons and amplify their damage by a hundred percent or by two hundred percent suddenly the whole community is back playing the game. How can the devs not understand that it's not always bad to figure out broken things and showcase it to the people? It's not always bad because this is something fun to play. Having things that don't work properly in a game, if we say about loading, yes, it's a problem. If the game doesn't load and you can't play the game and it's broken, it's a bad thing and needs to be fixed. My mission, fellas, and for the people who will watch this vote later is that I promise you I will give you the best builds that I can craft out of this. Some of my builds have gone viral, okay? And I will try to make the same happen. I will try to go as crazy as I possibly can. I promise you. I just promise you that. I'm just calling to say I 